Sometimes you can take the simplest of ingredients and get the most amazing results, which is exactly what we got when we put together this cinnamon apple roll up. Hello everyone, I am Deborah. Welcome to my channel where we are going to make it low carb by putting together an amazingly delicious cinnamon apple roll up using a low carb tortilla shell. You guys, you are going to love this recipe. I promise you. Everything you need to put this together is up there on the screen. So gather everything up, five ingredients, come in close, and let's make these delicious cinnamon apple roll ups together. Coming up next. Hello everyone, welcome back. So one of the things that I forgot to mention is the ease of making these cinnamon apple roll ups gets even easier because we are going to bake them in the air fryer. So, First thing that we need to do to put these together is to prep our apple. So in order to roll these up, these apples need to be flexible. And in order to do that, I need to blanch them. So come in close and I'll show you how I accomplish that. All right, everyone. So I've already got some hot water on the stove waiting for these apples. So what I need to do is to go ahead and cut this apple into thin wedges. So I'm gonna start off by cutting it in half. Of course, another thing, if you've got an apple core, then you can use that to get rid of the core and the seeds. I don't have one, so I am going to have to remove this myself. So I cut it in half, and then I'm gonna cut down at an angle on one side of this, cut down at an angle on the other side of this apple. And if I went deep enough, this should release this core and the seeds. So my first pass did not accomplish that. So I'm going back in a little bit deeper. I'm trying to spare my apple. Okay. And this is the first one. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the second one. Push that aside. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to Turn this apple, okay, on the flat side and then proceed to cut very thin wedges. If you got a mandolin that can accomplish this, then absolutely use it. It'll be a lot faster. Otherwise, we are going to exercise some patience and use a knife and just continue to cut very, very thin slices like that. So thin, you can almost see through this wedge, you guys. See that? All right. And I'm just gonna continue on like this until I get to the end. And then at that point, these will be ready to go over to our pot of hot water so that we can blanch them. Okay, everyone, what I decided to do was to just bring over my pot of hot water just so I can show you here what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these super thin apple wedges and place them in this hot water. Again, just so I can blanch them and make them flexible. All right. And I'm gonna put this back on the stove. So as these are um, blanching in this hot water, I'm gonna show you how we are going to slice this tortilla shell. It's time to cut this tortilla shell into strips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this apple wedge as a gauge. So I'm gonna cut these strips about as wide as this apple wedge is. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to continue until I get to the end. And just like that, we are done. So, because these tortilla shells were somewhat small, I have decided to put two of them together 
to make my apple roll up. And that way it'll make it a little bit thicker. So all I need to do with that is to just place them together, just like that, and press the center together. And do the same thing with this one. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to set these aside and then I'm gonna show you how to put together the cinnamon a sweetener along with the apple pie spice flavor sweetener. All right, guys, so in these two containers, I've got my sweetener. Use a sweetener of your choice. And to it, I am going to add, to one of them, I'm going to add my apple pie spice. And the ratio is four to one, four part sweetener to one part spice. Add some of that. Like this. And to this one, I'm going to add some cinnamon. Mix. And of course, you can use all apple pie, you can use all cinnamon. I just like the combination of each one of these in my roll-ups. And then what you wanna do, guys, is you want to taste this to make sure that you have a good ratio for your liking. And then once you do, and once those apples are ready, it is time to assemble your roll-ups. And here are our apples. And I would say they probably blanched for about five minutes. And I'm going to take them out of this pot. Let this water drain off. And I'm just gonna simply put them into another bowl. Just like that. And you can see, guys, just how flexible these are. That's exactly what we wanted to accomplish. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm going to let these cool a little bit. And then when I come back, we are going to start assembling. Time to assemble. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to start with putting some melted butter. Just brushing my strips with this. And this is going to help our sugar or sweetener, I should say, stick to these roll-ups. Okay, up next is some cinnamon sweetener. And you guys, these look exactly the same, so you <laughs> do whatever you need to do to remember which one is which, okay? So I said A and C, so this is the apple pie spice, <laughs> this is the cinnamon. Again, whatever you need to do to remember which one is which. All right, so I'll just go ahead and sprinkle some of this along the length of the strip. Do the same thing with the second one and kind of go ahead and spread it out either with your pastry brush or with your finger like I'm doing here. That looks good. And up next are apple wedges. So we're going to take these and just begin to lay them along the edge of the strip so that about half of it is on the actual um, uh, shell itself and then the other half is just hanging over And you guys this would be a fun project for the family Not only is it going to be amazing to eat but a Nice little project for the family The kids would absolutely love this and then when they see What they've created when we roll them out it makes it even more special. Okay, and let's go ahead and lay out the wedges on this one and the last one. Okay, now at this point, let's go ahead and put some more butter on these apple wedges. And what we're doing at this point, you are just we are just layering on some more flavor. Actually, after all, we went ahead and blanched these so. At this point, they really don't have too much flavor. But we're gonna add some back in. This is where we come in with the apple pie flavor. Sprinkle that on top of these apples. You guys, you should smell 
how amazing these are at this point. I can't wait to put them in that air fryer. All right, guys. Now at this point, let's roll and take your time with it. Try to get it as even as possible. And when we get to where the two meets, make sure you lift up that edge so we can catch it and continue to roll. Okay, when we get to this end, let's put a little bit of butter. Roll, and look what we just created. A beautiful rosette. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited about this. Okay, so lay this one down. Go ahead and do exactly the same thing with the other one. And then we're gonna put some more butter along the edges and roll this in some of that cinnamon and um, sugar. And then off to the air fryer, these will go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take some of this cinnamon sugar Sprinkle some of this on my plate. All right. Rest your perimeter of our little rosette here with some of this butter. And then we are going to roll this in the cinnamon sugar. Just like that. All right, and we're gonna do the next one exactly the same way. The butter, cinnamon sugar. And if you wanted to do the extra, you guys, you can do exactly that by just sprinkling a little bit more of the apple pie sugar right on top. Just like that. And now these are ready for the air fryer. Okay, you guys, and this is my air fryer that has preheated. Put a liner on it. My apple cinnamon roll-ups. And I wanna make sure that I put it in the fryer with the open edge down. That way when it bakes, this will hold together. Just like that. All right, you guys, so off to my oven. They go for a total of about eight minutes. I am going to check them at the halfway mark. At that point, if it's ready to flip, I'm gonna do exactly that. Continue to bake them until they are nice and golden brown. And when that happens, I'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, so I decided that I am also going to make a cream cheese streusel to serve those with. So in my mixing bowl, I have some, um, softened cream cheese. To it, I'm gonna add some powdered sweetener. Oh, and by the way, if you don't have any powdered sweetener, you take your granulated, you put it in your blender, you blend, and you get powdered sweetener. All right, that's exactly what I do, you guys. And to this bowl, we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract mix. So this is too thick. What I'm gonna do is add some almond milk to thin it out. All right, everyone, these are out of the air fryer. Don't they look amazing? Oh my gosh, okay. So I'm gonna take some of this cream cheese so and just drop some right in the center. Take one of my roll-ups along with a piece of mint. And there you have it. 
Okay, you guys, I told you, simple ingredients with amazing results. Time to give this deliciousness a taste. Lord, I thank you. This tastes like a mini apple pastry. So good. Give them a try and then leave in the comments that you did and let me know how you feel about it, you guys. And I want to thank you all so very much for being here. Remember, it is a great day. You continue to make it your own kind of special. And remember, you guys, to share my channel with people that you believe will enjoy my low-carb recipes. And I want to thank you all so very much for being here. And enjoy.